Hello and welcome to another Cliff Reviews Art House. This time I'm reviewing the film Do Not Expect Too Much from the End of the World, directed by Radu Jude. So I've seen a couple of his previous films and in fact Uppercase Print, Joe and I reviewed on this channel um, a while back and I had mixed feelings about that film. I, I there were things I liked about it, but I did find it a bit long and boring. I was more convinced by the other film that I saw of his. I do not care if we go down in history as barbarians. Um, that was, I thought, was a much more effective film, and I, and I did get a lot from that. I think Radu Jude is a really clever filmmaker. He uses archives, he uses the history of Romania, but he's also really um, artistic and creative. And so his films are, I, I, I think they're really good actually. And I really enjoyed this film. It's, it's baffling, it's strange, it's humorous, it's intelligent. The main character is Angela, played by this amazing actress, Ilinka Monolash. And she is, a lot of the film is her driving around. Um, we actually see her driving in the car in traffic through throughout a lot of the film. Um, she's driving around to shoot interviews with people who've had work accidents and have been injured um, for a corporate video that's being made by the, the company that they were all employed by. And this... This is intertwined with clips from a 1980s Romanian film. Um, now, actually, the older 1980s footage is in colour and the modern footage is in black and white. And so we clearly know the difference between them. Sometimes this older footage is slowed down and zoomed in. He's quite playful with it. And this feels very creative. Sometimes we... It's the, the zoom is into a very low resolution shot so the, the picture starts breaking down. This really works. The two eras are pre and post Ceausescu, so it's it is a kind of uh, document, a commentary on on what has happened and is happening in Romania, either side of this massive political event of Ceausescu being brought to, to the end of his power. Um, the the older film from the 1980s is a bit it's quite low quality it's like a U a US TV series it's it's just really effective I really enjoyed there's a there's a humor in it and it just it really works and then what is really cool is that we get this crossover between the two different um, periods because the main character in the 1980s film, um, who's also called Angela as our main protagonist in, in the, the contemporary time. Uh, Angela in the older film is a, is a taxi driver and she comes into the main film, uh, obviously. There's, so now we have two, two Angelas and, and actually the Angela from the 1980s film is played by the same actress. Obviously she's much older and her husband also is is in the film. Um, and this just, I don't know, there was something, what does it all mean? I'm not really sure, but there was just something really satisfying and fun about this. It just felt a really interesting film. The, the themes in this film are, obviously there's a lot about the, the, the history of Romania, contemporary history, there's, a, there's, it, there's politics, there's something about capitalism and corporatism. There's a lot about filmmaking, I think, and, and also about racism. Um, for me, the reason why this film really works, the reason why it's such a big success, is the main character, Angela. She is really compelling. She's a badass, she's streetwise, but she's also really well-read. She reads Proust, she quotes Goethe, um, but on the side, she also has a TikTok channel where she uses an Andrew Tate filter um, and she speaks as this alter ego and the content is really offensive and it's it's funny and yeah, just as, as I say, somehow this strange mix of things really works. 
One issue I do have with the film is the length. It's two hours and 40 minutes. And it's not the length per se, because the first two hours was absolutely excellent. I really, if it had carried on for another 40 minutes like that, I, I, I don't think I would have had a problem with it. I was happy to see more. But in the final 30 minutes, there was a real change of energy. The film went much flatter, much slower. There was very little of our main character, Angela, and I think that Radu in his films has no problem with the film really slowing down and becoming boring. As I said, my just checking back on my thoughts on Upper Print, I found that film boring. I think he is actually making a point. I think there is a purpose to this change of energy that the, the corporate control of the video process the, the the corporation is bland, it's safe, it's manipulative of the art. Overall, for the first two hours, I thought this film was excellent. Radu Jude is a really interesting filmmaker, and I definitely recommend this film. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.